Good morning, Dan. It is Tuesday, March 31st. So it's spring here in the Pacific Northwest, and you can tell that for a number of reasons. The sky goes back and forth from being bright blue and sunny to being completely cloudy. An entire morning of sunshine ruined by a wind and rainstorm in the afternoon. And of course you can tell it's spring by the ever-present fact that this last weekend it snowed again. I felt like I was being pretty boring telling you every single time that it snowed up here, but it's getting kind of ridiculous. Most of the time it doesn't even stick anymore, but it keeps snowing. Call it global warming, call it whatever you want. I call it annoying. But at least for today we are beyond the snow. In fact, it's just one of those everyday ordinary gray wet, windy days, just like mom used to make. So the first day of Tempest went really, really well. Amazingly well. I'm still really nervous. Uh, yesterday, though, was much worse. I did not sleep well. I did not really eat anything before going in. I was doing everything I could to calm my nerves. I even showed up hours early to get prepared and still was just sort of sitting on the edge of my seat and worried I was going to just stumble over my tongue trying to say the things that I wanted to to the cast. But I got some reassurance from my stage manager after the fact that what I said hit the point uh, without being either too harsh, I'm trying to demand a level of professionalism out of them, and without babying the point. Because these kids have to grow up sometime. There's sort of this common knowledge thing about a first read-through that if you time it, that should be about how long your show is when it actually reaches performance. This, of course, is assuming you aren't going to add like a giant dance number into the middle of it that you just mentioned and skipped over in the read-through. All in all, it took an hour and six minutes to read my script. And the running time that I've been estimating is an hour 15 minutes to an hour 20 minutes. And there are a couple moments that are going to be a little more dancey, puppety, poeticness that we mentioned and then skipped over. So that should add that 10-15 minutes back in. Plus there's this whole prologue thing I'm making up that, you know, it's not listed. It's just something I want to put in. But the part about this whole process that really got to me was that as soon as we were done, lots and lots of questions. Lots of discussion already happening at the table without me having to really instigate it. It was me, however, that put the brakes on it and said, we're gonna start all this tomorrow. Go home, relax, think about this stuff tonight, and let's talk when we get back. So I've got a few hours till I've got to be there, and I'm already starting to get worked up. But I think in a good way. Kind of that, like, pre-show jitters thing. Although honestly, I haven't really felt pre-show jitters in a long time. So this is exciting. Whether that sounded exciting or not, I feel excited. Kind of nervous. Still. What if I just went bald? I'll see you tomorrow. One hair.